I love it. I love it. Write that down. You ever do any acting before? What do you say we head on back to school? I think I'd like to. Three weeks ago, the man was just another face in the crowd. Hello. Warren. Hi. Hi. Good, and you? Fine, thanks. Uh, are you interested? In what? Being my agent. Me being your agent, you being my boss? You know what, Coolidge? You've developed a serious case of Oreo mentality. Out of here. <laughs> I don't understand it, Jimmy. You're the top of your class academically. You're the most promising athlete in the entire school. All the other boys and girls look up to you. I never figured you for a junkie. Cut! Very nice. All right, any problems? Talk to me, talk to me. George, Bob, that's a wrap. OK, that's a wrap, 7.30 for 8. Perfect. I just talked with Maggie, and we've got a last-minute change for tomorrow. All right. Well, we aren't going to be able to use Dawson High for the exterior school shots. They had a fire. Fire replacement? Well, we're going to use Carver. Carver? Where's that? Oh, it's uh, down in South L.A. South L.A.? Hey, look, guys, uh, I'm big on authenticity, too, but do we have to use a real ghetto school? You think it'll be dangerous? Well, uh, it might. Especially if they've seen the show. So he puts the dude up against the wall like this, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he says, I would have given it to you today, I swear, but I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> then the other guy doesn't say anything. He just gives him one of these looks. And then he flexes his fist and looks at it. And then, still looking at his fist, he says, real laid back. You're lying. I'm not lying. Oh, hi, Mr. Leonard. Hello, Warren. It ain't what it looks like. I was just telling the fellas about his TV show I saw last night. No, it's OK. You were very convincing. Can I talk to you a minute? Yeah, Frank? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's about all I got. I got a department meeting in seven minutes. What's up? I came to ask you a favor. Ah, uh, look, before you even start, let's get one thing straight. It's been a long year. The season's over. All I plan to do for the rest of the year is put my feet up and just keep on coasting. Well, I think you deserve it. Right. OK. So uh, what do you need? A few bucks to pay then? No, no, nothing like that. Well, uh, what? Your car broke down? You need a lift home? No, the car's great. I need Coolidge. You got him. Just out of curiosity, for what? The drama club. We're doing Streetcar Named Desire, and I really need Coolidge. What, do you want him to play the streetcar? No, I think he'd make a great Stanley Kowalski. What? What? You want Coolidge to play Stanley Kowalski? What's the matter with that? Oh, nothing. I mean, what do I know from show business? I just think you're going to have a tough time convincing the audience that Coolidge is Polish. Well, I'm, uh, I'm taking a few liberties. Look, I hate to burst your bubble, but Coolidge has trouble remembering the Pledge of Allegiance. How do you expect him to learn his lines? Well, he remembers the plays you draw up, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Well, far be it for me to stand in the way of Coolidge's theatrical career. As a matter of fact, I just as soon stand as far away from it as possible. That's fine. Uh, now the favor. I want you to ask him. No, no, wait a second. You want him, you ask him. Well, I thought it would be safer to go through an intermediary. You're afraid of Coolidge? I'm not afraid of Coolidge. Not afraid of him? Then ask him yourself. Right. Well, thanks for your help. Anytime. Uh, Frank, uh, just one word of advice. Uh, before you ask him, make sure you got a running start. <laughs> OK. One more.
a minute. Hey, hey, Nikki, hit him where it hurts, will you? Hey, is there a mosquito in here? Where oh. it hurts, Natalia, not where it's padded. Let's try it. Hey, be cool, Nikki, it'll find your ribs. It's a kernel. <clears throat> Would you guys like to be less alone? Oh. Very funny. Yeah, these insects start taking match strength with cone. <laughs> How much? T minus 15 seconds for $15. Oh, God, if I don't get off of his armpit, I'm going to faint. Oh, my kidneys. <laughs> oh, come on, don't do something. Does praying count? Hey, cool it. Mr. Oh. Leonard wants to see you. Oh, yeah, for what? Beats me. Uh, hey, hey, I think I got him. Uh, keep pushing. Uh, must have been about what was happening in the hallway. Uh, okay. Keep pushing. I don't know, but he wants to see you right away, man. Yeah, well, I'll be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> I guess so, man. It looks like these guys oh. got you pinned. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Reese, remember we saw the wrestling at the Olympic? You mean the Black Avengers versus the Golden Suburbans? Very, oh, very heavy oh, take. Oh, come on. Remember the head butt? No. Cool. Uh, cool. Cool. Have you guys uh, been introduced to yourself? Uh, Goldstein? Yeah, me. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Lynch, you want to see me? Yes. Yeah, is it about this morning with salami? Yes, it is. Yeah, well, uh, you got it all wrong. We weren't in a fight. I was just play acting. I know. That's why I wanted to see you. I think you've got a lot of natural talent. Yeah, well, that's fine, but what for? Acting. You're a natural actor. I'd like you to join the drama club. Yeah, see ya. Oh, wait a minute. Where are you going? I ain't gonna join no drama club. Why not? Well, let me give you the scoop. My trip is the who. Well, let me put it another way. My future's not MGM. It's NBA. Hey, that's great. That's great. I love it. You have a way of putting things and getting it across that's a gift. You really know how to act. I do? Sure you do. Come on up here a minute. You know, there's a lot in common between acting and athletics. Both have to do with performing in front of people. Look at Jim Brown, O.J. Simpson, Will Chamberlain. They've all done some acting. Yeah, even Ali. I saw him in a Roach commercial. So you think I can act, huh? I think you've got all the tools. Stage presence, energy, an uncanny instinct for making the right choices. Will it get me out of study hall? <laughs> Not to mention an understanding of motivation. Yes, all right. You can use a study hall to rehearse, provided you work. It's a deal. Great, great. <laughs> Just let me give you your script so you can begin to familiarize yourself with the material. My script. I like the way that sounds. This is an American classic called A Streetcar Named Desire. And I want you to play Stanley Kowalski. Well, who's that? It's the part that made Marlon Brando famous. Yeah, well, that's fine. But what I want to know is, can you teach me how to act in TV commercials? <laughs> Why don't we say that till later? Right now, I'm going to teach you how to speak. I know how to do that. No, but now you're doing it from up here. I want you to practice from doing it down here. Oh, oh. Got it? Oh. Just put your hand there and take a big breath and blow it right out to the back wall. Come on. Oh! Yeah, it's good. Oh! Yeah, great. More. Come on. Oh! <laughs> That's terrific. That's good. Stella! Stella! I want you, Stella! I can see you've talked to Mr. Leonard. Yeah, I joined the drama club. <laughs> you caved right in, right? Well, uh, tell me when it's opening night, and I'll send you a pair of tights. Yeah, well, I figure I need something to fall back on when my days as a pro are over. I think you're rushing things just a little coolidge, don't you? Hey, well, I sure don't want to coach no high school team like some folks we know. Stella! Join the drama club? Yeah, now I'm officially a thespian. Yeah, you and my cousin Mary. Hey, it gets me out of study hall. Besides, Mr. Leonard says I have natural talent. Oh, please. Hey, Salon. Hey, buddy. You know what? They're shooting that new TV show, Downtown High, right outside Carver. 
Think about going down after school. You going down there, too? Are you kidding? This could be my big break. Uh, downtown High, what's it about? Hey, it's this ridiculous new TV show on TV, man, about this white principal in a black ghetto high school who always gets involved in the kids' personal problems. Sound like a lot of bull to me, man. Hi, guys. Any tension? Huh? Yeah. Any pace? pace. Huh? Huh? Okay, got gotcha. you. Keep it subtle. Yeah. Give it to me. Can oh, you give it to me? We'll give it okay, to you. give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Okay, Bob. Let's try and run through. All right. Very quiet for rehearsal, please. All right. Rehearsal and action. Hey, man. Nobody will grab another dude like that. It looks like he's gonna dance with him. <laughs> yeah. Give me a break, guys. Will you? A little quieter. Okay. Keep going, Arthur. If you don't give me the bread, man. I'm gonna bash your teeth in. Bash your teeth in? Nobody says that anymore. Continue. Are you hip? Are you cool, man? Because I ain't for no jab. Do you understand me? Oh, man, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow. What is your problem? Well, I was just trying to help. See, the problem with this TV program is realism, which the brother over there is missing. Look, if you really want to help, uh, could you just keep a little quieter here? You know, it's very easy to stand back here and criticize. It's a lot harder in front of the camera, believe me. Yeah, well, you're doing it all wrong. If I am doing it wrong, how would you like to show me and all your friends how to do it right? Huh? All right. You want to do that? Come on. Right, right, show cool. it. Show right, it. Cool. Cool. Step right up there. Go in there. Go in there. Maria, let me handle this. Pitches. I know what I'm doing. OK, step right in there. Here we go. All right. Show me how to do it right. All right, well, first of all, I'd grab him like this. And then I'd say, come up with the paper, brother, otherwise I'm going to smack you upside your head. Like that. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what was that you said? Smack you upside your head? Yeah, that's right. I love it. I love it. Write that down. You ever do any acting before? Yeah, well, he's a member of the drama. Yeah, a little, but see, to me, acting's all a matter of choices. What's your name? Warren Coolidge. Warren. Listen, uh, guys, take 10, will you? Good, get some coffee. Very nice, very nice. Listen, Warren, uh, I got two more scenes to shoot here, hour, hour and a half tops. How'd you like to take a little ride with me back to the studio after we wrap? Huh? All right. Yeah. I see it, but I don't believe it. Yeah, we'll keep looking, because pictures don't lie. Come on, man, shut up. I'm trying to watch this. Don't worry, Mr. Hayes. I've learned my lesson. I ain't never going to mess with drugs again. Well, I think we've all learned our lesson. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What do you say we head on back to school? Huh? I think I'd like that. Well, what do you think? I thought he was pretty good, didn't you? Well, three weeks ago, the man was just another face in the crowd. No, no. Coolidge was never just another face. Another head and shoulders, maybe. Never just another face. <laughs> well, I tell you about me, man. I don't like it. Why? Because I think the show puts black people down. Oh, man, that's just because you ain't in it. I mean, what ticks me off is the fact that that could have been any one of us. It could have been me. I mean, after all, we were the ones that pushed him into it in the first place. We thought he was joking, remember? Yeah, well, the joke's on us. I mean, look at it. If anyone could be considered star material, it's me. Well, what do you know? Coolidge gets discovered, and it goes to Thorpe's head. Hey, look, are you guys are still getting along with Coolidge, right? You still friends? Oh, sure. Uh, he invited us to the studio next tomorrow. Terrific. Well, give my regards. Now, uh, you don't mind? What are you trying to do? Throw a shot? The yeah. night's still young. No, no, the night is old, and I'm tired. Well, at least he didn't say he had a headache. Hey, can't we stay for the news? Get out. Mm -hmm.
But you know what the best part is? I don't have to go to school. I got a tutor. Say, what's Hayward? Didn't he come down with you guys? Yeah, he was here a minute ago. Yeah, I can hold on. Hey, uh, look, man, what do you do? Me? I'm just a writer. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh, I can talk to you then. What about? About the way black people are shown on some of these TV shows. I mean, it stinks. I don't think you can generalize about that. Yeah, no, well, not you, Bernie. Hey, look, uh, look here. How, how come almost every time I see a black person on television, man, they're made out to look like fools? I mean, they're either drug addicts or pimps or pushers, man. I mean, all those shows, they stink. What about shows that have blacks as doctors and lawyers and private detectives? Yeah, right, those shows, too. There he is. Hey, come on, man. We're going to go watch Coolers do a scene, then we're going to the commissary. Uh, uh, nice talking to you. Yeah, look. OK, props. Come here. I need a radio. Come on. Stay with me, guys. Here we go. All right, bring it right in here. Warren, put it up on your shoulder. Here we go. All right, now, Warren, I want you to walk down to the end of the corridor. I want you to keep it up next to your ear. OK? Here we go. Have some fun with it. All right, uh, keep it quiet here, Bob. Rehearsal time. Rehearsal. Rehearsal land. Action. Here we go. Here we go. Having a little fun. Uh, Warren. Warren. Uh, look, um. You're listening to music, so I want to have a little rhythm in it, a little movement. Give me some, you know, a little, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, here we go. One more rehearsal. Come on. Rehearsal and action, Warren. Go get him, Warren. Uh, Warren. Warren, uh, look, um, you got, you got to give me more soul. Soul. Can you, I'll tell you what, here, let me show you. Give me this. Now watch. Watch what I do. I got it on the board. Now here we go. Hey, have fun. I'm happy. I'm listening. The fingers are going. The hey, then. okay. See, that's the kind of thing I need. All right, give it, give it. <laughs> All right, give me that, Warren. Can you give it to me? Come on, give it to me. Okay, have some fun. Loosen up. Rehearsal. Yeah, Keep it quiet. Action. Have it. Have it. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. I see it. Is he beautiful? Is he beautiful? Okay, big fella. Okay, big fella. <laughs> So the dude calls out pepperoni and mushroom, and Janine slides out real silky-like out the booth, man. And everybody in the joint is checking her out. Hey, man, I wonder where those idiots ran off to. I told you, they went to the Kissing Cousins set. Kissing Cousins? They never win their time slot. So she's moving over to the counter like a cat. Left hip, right hip, then another left hip. I suppose they tore the place up by now. So I'm leaning up against the counter, you know, in my red turtleneck and my blue V-neck, you know, the one that uh, Dee Dee uh, cries over all the time. And if they did anything to embarrass me, I'll tell you. Hey, cool it, man. Just cool out. I mean, they just went to check out the sights. Yeah, right. So uh, anyway, about Janine, man. Who's that? Janine. Oh, her. Oh, her. You told me she was worth two Dianas easy. Two of who? Diana, your girlfriend, or has that suddenly become something of the past? Oh, well, let's just say one a little hiatus. What?
kept you guys on a leash. Come on, cool. What's the big deal? Well, you could get in trouble messing in people's dressing rooms. Hey, she gave us the eye, you right? Yeah, to all six of you. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Debbie. You know, I know a lot of people, man. Oh, hi, Ed. Warren. How you doing? Good, and you? Fine, thanks. Oh, that's good. Take it easy. Hi, Ed. Hi, Warren. You know Ed Asner? Sure. Well, you think you could get me his autograph? Yeah, you never know. It might be worth a few bucks. I can't do that. Why not? You just said you knew him. That's my whole point. How would it look like for me to go over there and ask him for his autograph like I got some tourists or something? You look like a fool. It's gonna be no worse than we looked on the set today. Hey, what's your problem, brother? Hey, life now, man. Hey, what? hey, I'm light, man. You know, I just don't like to see him making my man cool here look like a clown. Hey, what you talking about, man? They ain't making me look like no clown. Oh, no, look at the way you dress, man. You know you don't dress like that. I saw that white man trying to teach you how to walk. Yeah, it's just a part. It ain't supposed to be real. Yeah, well, it ought to be real, man. You know what I mean? You're giving black people a bad image. What are you talking about? It's a black show. Oh, yeah? Well, is the producer black? No, it's not. Is the writer black? That's not what I'm saying. Well, then. Hey, uh, Hayward, I think you better cool it. Hey, man, I'm cool. You know, I just don't want to see him messing over, brother. That's all. You ain't messing over me. You know how much they pay me? 1200 bucks a week. You kidding? Cool. I never figured you for timing out, man. I ain't timing out, brother. I just seen the white world and how it works. Yeah, well, if I was you, I'd take a second look, man. Next thing you know, they have you shining shoes or something. No way. Yeah. What's right. up, Derek and Pee Wee? <laughs> You know, Hollywood's a very small town, but what the hell, it's my town. That's Doris Day's house over there, and that's Glenn Campbell's. So you were actually thinking about getting a place like one of them, huh? Well, right now I'm just looking, but I got the same real estate agent as Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson? No kidding. Hey, and that house over there, that's the producer's house. He's throwing a big bash tomorrow afternoon. A party, huh? Uh, you think you can get us into it? What, are you kidding? You heard what the man said. This is his town. Boy, I bet you it's gonna be wall-to-wall, -wall, honey, he's there. Yeah, hey, cool. What kind of clothes we gotta wear? Are you kidding? You can't come to the party. We can't come. Why not? Because it's for people in the business. You guys will be out of place. Well, you gone, ain't you? Yeah, but I'm in the business. Oh, oh, so what you're trying to tell us is that we wouldn't fit in, right? Yeah, you know how it is. It ain't nothing personal or nothing. It just comes a time when some of us got to stay and some of us got to move on. Say, uh... That's right, man. We go and you stay. Bye. This really isn't necessary, Coolidge. It's just my way of staying in touch with the little people. Coolidge. Coach, lose the tie. What do you mean, lose the tie? I only put one on because you rave so much about this place. You're drawing attention to yourself, and anyone who's anybody in this place don't wear a tie. 
Mr. Coolidge? Yes, this me. This way, sir. Walk, talk. Would you care for something from the bar? I know, thanks. How about a little of the bubbly? Uh, champagne, Coolidge? Since when are you drinking champagne? Hey, maybe you're right. I'd take the best bottle of wine you got. Hey, <laughs> Coolidge. Relax, Coach. It's on me. Yeah, but uh, Coolidge. Hey, think small, live small. Think big, live big. Take it away, Coolidge. Red or white, sir? Surprise me. Uh, very good, sir. I... Uh, Coolidge, don't you think you're just moving a little too quickly into all of this? I'm getting paid 1200 bucks an episode. But well, you've only done two. Did you see the show last night? Yeah, I saw it. Well, wasn't I the end? Yeah, right. Uh, well, how's the school end of it going with the tutor? Fantastic. Yeah? She wants me. Great. Great fish. Hey, the car agno roti ox herbs wasn't bad either. Uh, you know, Coolidge, you practically got a full bottle of wine left. I wasn't really into that stuff, but it sure looks expensive. Listen, Coach, I talked to some of the co-stars on the set, and they say I got to get myself an agent. You ever had one? No, handled everything myself. Yeah, I guess with your tax bracket you could, but uh, I got to get one. Uh, are you interested? In what? Being my agent. Me being your agent, you being my boss? Hey, I'll pay you for it, 15, maybe 20 bucks a week. In the first place, agents take a percentage of everything that you make. I can handle that. How about one? Now, how about 10, if I was interested, which I'm not? 10? Yeah, uh, Coolidge, uh, do you think you really need an agent right now? Oh, the big shot's got one. You are not a big shot. Yes, I am. Oh, look, I'll take care of this. No, I got it. Uh, we'll split it, all right? No, That's no, true. No, 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 I got it. I'm telling you. Sorry. You can cover it next time. A hundred and forty bucks. That's not including the tip. It's another twenty percent. Bubba really gets down this week in downtown high. It looks like trouble when an old friend of Bubba's arrives at the school and convinces him to leave his studies and get back to the streets where he came from. He laughs about when his classmates try to convince Bubba to come back, and it looks like Mr. Hayes. Look at this, will you? I don't believe it. Eight of us. Kind of makes you want to puke. Sort of like you drank too much. Just for three hours. Watch the fur fly at downtown high. The Maverick principal takes over a decaying ghetto school. Man, I'm getting out of here. Tell it to my cousin. Gets involved where no others have dared. She thinks he's something else. Gloria, 22-year-old, curvaceous Gloria digs cool. It's not so hard to figure out why he's plastered all over the TV. Oh, man, don't talk to me about him. I'm up there partying with all them white folks. Up there partying on the hill, and we're still kicking around down here. Hey, man, what do you expect from a guy who goes Hollywood? Yeah, I tell you, man, just to think, without our push, he'd be Warren Coolidge, have basketball, we'll travel. Hollywood party. Hey, hey, we can't let him get away with that. Not by himself, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, what do you say we give him a little company? At the party, right? Right. I mean, uh, when you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> well, let's go do some flaunting then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, come on, pal. You've been in there a half an hour. What are you doing, building the toilet? Come on. Showtime. When this kid's poster hits, he'll run like Travolta. 
Packaging's the key. Legs. Let me tell you about legs. Three mil gross, two weeks into releasing, with the third book coming out. Getting him a three pick pack? If the front money is right. Did she have them fixed? <laughs> Are you kidding? My art plays golf in Palm Springs with her doctor. Well, what they looked like before, you wouldn't believe. So the deal's all set. I get him second star billing, plus two points, and he's still got a problem. What? That either Mark's directing or he's walking. So, you said? But hey, I didn't want my clients getting into bed with anyone creatively unless it was right for them. But then, hey, as far as I'm concerned, Mark couldn't direct his way through a parking lot. I mean, he's got what? Two, three features to his credit? Suddenly, he's telling you what's right and what's wrong creatively? Actors. So you're the honey in a toothpaste commercial, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, it's good money. Uh, what I really want to do is features. Yeah, well, you sure got the teeth for it anyway. <laughs> but what about you, Warren? How did you get your start? Uh, had you ever acted before? Yeah, well, you know, off and on, little theater work, that kind of thing. Oh, really? Yeah. What play? A uh, streetcar named Desire. Oh, really? Which part? Marlon Brando. Doesn't come down for another three hours yet. So? So we don't need you till then. Say, you looking to get slapped with a lawsuit or something? We're the guest here, not the grunts, okay? Names. Put a couple checks by Coolidge. We're with him. <laughs> Sorry about your hair. Huh? Hey, wait a minute, you. Hmm. <laughs> so, how's it about going to your place since mine's being redecorated? Anything you say, honey buns. Hot damn. Two more bubbly. Ain't no stopping you now, Koo. Ain't no stopping you now. Hey, Koo. Hey, Thorpe. Thorpe, what are you doing here? Uh, give me two scotch on the rocks and hold the ice, would you? What are you doing here? So, Koo, how goes it, babe? Out. What do you mean, out? Now. Hey, man, it's not your party. Relax, will you? We are. Hey, Koo, what's doing? Take it easy, babe. Great party, great party. Your bridge is wrong. You talking to me? Yeah, and your wrist is too limp, too. Too limp, huh? I got news for you, pal. My bridge is just fine. But if you say so, man. I say so. <clears> hey. <throat> to a couple of experts, huh? Hey, we'll sink a few, you know. Yeah. 20 bucks a ball. 50. Rack them. Hey, Reese, are you crazy or something? 50 bucks? We don't have that kind of money. Yeah, but he does. So she says to me, she says, listen, honey, can I come to Davis? Excuse me. <laughs> can you come to Davis? I said, let me tell you something. Hey, where are the meatballs? This is your boss. Listen, you've been in this business too long.
fine. Yeah, but I, the screaming, I mean, oh. I thought... Oh, oh, that's therapy, sweetie. Therapy? Yeah. Very primal, very basic. Gets to the root of all your anxieties. Mm. Does it work? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> So listen, you guys uh, take a check? No. What do you mean, no? No. You know who I am? No. Tell him. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, uh, you think I ought to settle for this watch? Nah. No, wait a minute, man, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where you guys from, anyway? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Why don't you answer his question? I'm from Darien, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And you? Scarsdale, New York. Now, how many black people have got there? A couple. A couple? So what makes you think you got a right to write about downtown high, ghetto life? I mean, what, what do you know about black people, man? We have a basic understanding of human emotion. You plug that into the show's basic formula and you get Garbage, the... man. That's what you get. Garbage. I think he's right. Who asked you? Yeah, who asked you? <laughs> Just because I'm a woman, I'm not supposed to be entitled to an opinion? That's right. You tell him, lady. Excuse me. He wants to talk to me. What? What are you doing? Hey, cool. What? What is it? Hey, you got split. You got split? I'm not through talking to these cats yet. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, well, I want him out of here. And shut him up. What do you mean, out? Get lost, all of you. Hey, you got a pretty hostile attitude there, brother. How come? Like, you guys don't belong here. And you do, right? I mean, we gotta go and you gotta stay? Yeah, like I live here. The only way you live here is as a butler, pal. Hey, you're forgetting where you come from, Coolidge. At first you crash my party, then you leave me looking bad. Get out! Introducing the new president of the Me Fan Club. You know what, Coolidge? You've developed a serious case of Oreo mentality. Out of here. Pages, revisions. It's a new scene. Ooh, okay. We're gonna shoot it first stuff. Say, wait a second. What is this stuff? What? What's this Sam supposed to be doing here? I ain't gonna do this stuff. No? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe I ought to get the director. Your character gets a job after school. That's all. Shining shoes? He's trying to help out with the family finances. But shining shoes? What's wrong with that? It's a put down. To who? To black people. <laughs> shining shoes? Look, wa Warren, this is a scene in a script. It's supposed to play funny, not serious. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna do it. Warren, I got nine pages to shoot today. I have no time to stand here and argue with you about this. I ain't gonna argue because I ain't gonna do it. He said no. 
said he's not going to do it. Bob? He said he's not going to do it. What do you mean he's not going to do it? He said he's not going to play. Jason, you got to help me. Oh, come on, George. Look, you got to talk to him. Come on, he's being temperamental. He said he's not going to play the scene. George. Please, Jason, help me. Okay. I'll talk to him. Okay? Got a problem with this scene, huh? Yeah, did you read it? Yeah, I read it. I ain't gonna do that stuff. Well, I think you ought to. Hey, man, that's racist, and they're racist. No, they're not racist. What they are is ignorant, that's all. I mean, they just don't know. Well, why don't somebody school them? Hey, man, I've talked to them. So have some of the other brothers talk to them. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. See, you got to remember one thing. It's their show, not ours. Someday, maybe, you'll have your own show. Or I'll have mine, and then we'll have the final say. But until that happens, my friend, you've got to toe the line. OK? Yeah. Thanks, man. job in a posh Beverly Hills hotel. Because of the situation at home, you figure you need another $20 a day in tips, so you're overjoyed that you got the job here because you can figure these high rollers are big tippers. Okay? You got it. All right, Alfred, I want you to wait off camera. I'll give you a cue. All right, Warren, stand by the shoe shine stand. Wait a minute, let me see if there's a rag in here. Oh, we got it. Uh, wave that around. Let me see how you look waving. Use it, use it. Okay, here we go, everybody. We're going to have a rehearsal. Quiet, please. And Warren. Shine, sir. Would you like your shoe oh, shine? Uh, Warren, Warren. Uh, look, I want you to wave the rag around a couple times. Give me back just exactly what's on the page. Shoe shine. Get your shoe shine. Shoe shine. More energy, more movement. Okay, here we go. Once again, everybody, quietly. Here we go. Quiet now. Rehearsal, everybody. All right. And Warren. Shoe shine. Get your shoe shine. Here's shoe shine. Alfred. Shine your shoes, sir. You're internalizing, Warren. I need it bigger. Shine your shoes, sir. Yeah, but make it quick. I got a meeting in 10 minutes. I need more moving with those arms, Warren. I need to see that rag moving. Sure pays to have a good shine to them shoes when you're in that big, important meeting. You're thinking about your family, Warren. You really need the big tip. Sure do pay to have a powerful, strong shine to them shoes when you got that big meeting to go to. Good. Uh, meeting's a meeting. They all run together after a while. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. I need to see more arms waving. Now, snap the rag, Warren. Can I see you snap it, big fella? Like I said, I wouldn't know nothing about no big important meeting or nothing. Well, just work hard. You will one day. Good advice, sir. Good energy, Warren. Good, good, good. All right, pop it now. Pop that rag. Pop it, big fella. All right, terrific energy. Hey. Do you know a song, Warren? Can you whistle a song? Hold it, big fella. Whoa. Stay calm, big fella. Stay calm, big fella. Right Stay calm. Stay calm. What in the hell did you think you were doing? You attacked a man half your size. Did you see what they had me doing down there? Did you read this stuff? Oh, now suddenly you are a writer, huh? Or is it a producer-director? Is that it? That's not what I'm saying. Listen, you make more money than a U.S. senator. You realize that? Yeah, but... Listen, there are guys out there that'd give their right arm for the break I've given you. Their right arm, Coolidge. The money's good, but you got to no, understand. No, no buts. I'm the boss. The one in charge. The decision maker. Me, not you. All I'm asking you to do oh, is... Oh, oh, please, please, please. I bet! Get in here! Yeah, would you get me Coolidge's contract, please? I'd like to read where it says he tells me what to do. No, don't bother. I understand. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Good. I quit.
You understand that stuff? Hey, I'm trying. I don't know why they make us read this. <clears throat> what is it? It's crazy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> nothing else to do. Man. You read it, you don't know what it is. When you Who get is it, making us read you, it? You, you, you explain it to me. Hey, man. Hey. hey. Hey, what you doing here, man? Anyone got a crow fork? What's that? It's something you'd crow with. Oh, yeah? Yeah, quit. Oh, wow, man. You must be kidding. Nope. You mean you really quit? Why? Artistic differences. They wanted me to shine shoes. Oh, God. Welcome back, bro. Thanks, man. You're gonna miss that 12. <laughs> <laughs> so you found out that Hollywood isn't all it's cracked up to be after all, huh? Yeah, it's got its pluses and minuses, just like everything else, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I was thinking anyway, with me being back here and all the professional experience I got, maybe I'd give that play of yours a go after all. I mean, if you're looking for boosting ticket sales, I'm your man. Warren, we have a problem. I'd cast someone else. Someone else? Who? Stella! 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 Clear Mediterranean waters, balmy nights. Moussaka. Okay. I knew you'd be interested. I'm not. Come on, let's run a little two on two. Sorry, champion, this is my off season. You smoke, pal? No. Start. Well, thanks, but uh, my grandmother would kill me. Go easy, will you, Vitalia? I don't want you coming down with a hernia. Don't worry, coach. I only got my shots. Me against you in the pivot? For 10 bucks. College. 20? Mm mm. All right, that'll do it. Yeah, you two take a break, all right? 
I like your sound, Milt. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Yeah. Hey, but, um, that was my first time around, man. Come on, why don't you uh, give me another shot? Hey, man, you sounded fine. You sounded just fine. Yeah, yeah, but not great, man. <laughs> Alger Rose sounds great. The rest of us <laughs> sound just fine. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so, so where'd you learn to sing? Oh, on the street, you know. In church, whatever. <laughs> Say read? No. Uh, but I got 2020 here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. You know, um, Billy Mack has been with us for a couple years now. Come on, man. I listen to you guys all the time. I know that. Okay. Uh, the reason why we're holding these auditions is because Billy's going out on his own the first of June. So, what you got planned come June? <laughs> Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> Come in. Hi. How you doing? What you up to? Just looking at some scholastic rentals, trying to get everything set for the graduation ceremonies. Oh, well, that's nice, but isn't it a little early to be thinking about graduation? I mean, the Cubs open is still a week away. Yeah, well, I still have to find a hall to hold the ceremonies. What's wrong with the sports arena? I thought it was great there last year. Can't do that unless I come up with some money. They want 10% more this year. Well, you think of something. You always do. Mm. 10%. Where am I going to get that from? I'll hold back a couple of kids. Ah, springtime. Dodger Stadium, Beach of Malibu. You know, you did a bang-up job with the team this year, buddy. No applause necessary. I'll hear enough at the awards dinner. Thank you. Yeah, well, now it's time to relax a little. You know, a little golf, a couple extra beers. Just relax and enjoy. Yeah, the hard part's over. So maybe now it's time to uh, talk about adjusting your salary. Season's over. You know what they say. Days pay for a day's work. You want to cut me? Come on, with all that NBA cash you got stashed. Holy cat, wait a minute. You touch my paycheck, I'll break your fingers. I've got great news for you, Abner. I got this letter from Whittier College this morning. What is this? A scholarship. Full tuition and a stipend. A scholarship? Well, you did apply, didn't you? Well, yeah, but... Then let me be the first to congratulate you. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, it's hard enough just getting into a good college these days, much less something like this. You know, your parents are going to be so proud of you. Yeah. You have to notify Woody of your acceptance by the end of the month. Fill out these forms and mail them right away. Is something the matter, Abner? Huh? Is something wrong? No, no, Mrs. Gladding. I I'm just surprised. I, I didn't expect all of this. Well, we have four very productive years to get used to. Yeah, right. Uh, I have to go, Mrs. Gladding. I have biology this period. That's right. You can't be cutting class just because you're a college man. And Abder, don't forget us once you get on campus now. I won't, Mrs. Gladding. You're getting careless in your old age. What are you talking about, Miss Buchanan? The next time you decide to paint the side of a school building, I would suggest that you leave with what you brought with you. But then I guess with the thought of police cars bearing down on you, you uh, can't remember everything, huh? Uh, that's not my cat. Oh, no? No, there must be a million caps like that around here. With M. Reese sewn inside? Um, hey, somebody must be out to get me. You've been got, Milton. Miss Buchanan, a cap with a little paint on it don't prove nothing. Oh, it's not just the cap. It's what the cap saw, and what Ed the janitor saw you in the cap doing. Hey, Miss Buchanan. I was just letting off a little steam, you know. We won the city championships and everything. Hey, I use the school colors. It's not a joke, Milton. Defacing school property is a crime. Something I'm sure your father will corroborate. Oh, come on. I didn't mean nothing by it. You should have thought of that before. 
Look, the building's orange, the paint's orange. I mean, in a couple of weeks, we won't know the difference. Yes, but you use both school colors, remember? Well, I got some more. I'll just paint the whole side for you. Is your father home now? No, ma'am. He's at work. Come on, Miss Buchanan. My old man will kill me. Please? You defaced community property. Yeah, but my life's worth more than a building, isn't it? All right, Milton. Since you defaced community property, it's the community that ought to be repaid. Hey, I ain't got that much cash. No, 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 I'm not talking about money. There's a crisis center down on 14th Street that's in need of volunteers. You and I will be paying them a little visit. <laughs> If there was a sun king, I'd worship her. There is. His name's Apollo. Leave it to Goldstein to know something useless like that. <laughs> you guys cheat, man. I can't do that. Bye. Hey, uh, Salami, man, come on. Let's run a little two-on-two. -two. Sorry, champion. This is my off-season. The only ball I'm going to be pushing around is with a cue stick. Great. Hey, uh, you here for that college yet or what? Yeah, man, I heard. They didn't want you, huh? Oh, yeah, they want me. As long as I got the money, which I don't. Heavy green, huh? Yeah, we talking about thousands. Loans on top of loans. And I still got to work to cut it, man. Higher education. Who needs the grief? Hey, I need the grief, man. You got your gig. I'm trying to get mine. Hey, three bills a week, brother. That's just the start. Wow, life in the fast lane. I could get into that. Hey, man, talk about catching a dream. I don't mind telling y'all, I was losing sleep over where I was going, you know? Now you know where you're going, straight to the top of the charts, right on, man? <laughs> and then there was Abner. Hey, Goldstein, what about you, man? Did you apply anywhere? Yeah, I won. And? I didn't get in. That's not surprising. You had an interview, right? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Love, love, love. You can't imagine what you've done to me. No, baby. And love, oh, love, oh, love. Every time you smile, it goes through me all the time. Day by day, I'm falling more in love with you. And that's no lie. Cross my heart and honey, I hope to die. You see, I'm not trying <sighs> to do this. They be jamming, huh, bro? Oh, I'm glad you're leaving. <laughs> Don't be you up there. <laughs> Milka! You made me fall in love with you, and I don't know just what I'm gonna do. Into empty space, and all I saw was your sweet face. Hi. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so, uh, where have you been all my life? San Francisco, mostly. San Francisco, yeah. Well, uh, it's a three dollar cover, two drink minimum. Three dollars. Uh, uh, you must not know who this is. This is a uh, Milton Reese. Soon to be lead singer with the Lonnie Wilson Express, right, bruh? Right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Look, uh, let me have a beer, huh? Yeah, be uh, let me have uh, a rum and coke. Okay. Mm. Oh. Thank you very much. We're gonna take a 20 minute break now, so if you feel like it, stick around for our next set and enjoy. So, uh, you guys going all up to New York? Uh, I don't know, man. We gotta get that straightened out. Man. Yeah, well, look here. Yeah. Look, there he is, man. Come on, introduce you to him. Say, Lonnie. Hey, Milt, how you doing? All right, man. Hey, meet my boy James Hayward. What's happening, James? Hey, man, y'all be sounding good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everything's cool, man. I went over all the tunes last night. Mm. 
I wanted to talk to you about that. No, no problem. I got them all down. You know, see, there's, uh, there's been a change in plans. What do you mean? Billy's gig got canceled. What? Billy's gig got canceled. He decided he's going to stay on with us. Stay on? I thought we had a deal. <laughs> hey, man, you know how this business is. I was banking on this gig. So I'm banked, brother. No, you got to tell me something better than that, hey, man. Hey, be cool, Mel. <laughs> be cool? You going to shine me on like that and say, be cool? Hey, your time will come. Now, I got to run over this table for a few minutes, OK? Yeah, well, let me help you do the crowd, man. Oh, Reese. Hey, man, no. Oh. You all right now? Get off of me, man. Get off of me, man. Get off of me. Come get off of me. Let me go. Get off of me, man. Let me go. Let me go, man. Get off me, man. Get off of me, man. Get off of me, man. Like Lonnie dropped a piano on my head or something. <sighs> you know, you look like somebody danced on your face. Yeah, that's all right, man. You know, <sighs> I got mine there. Yeah, right. <sighs> Do me a favor, would you? Next time you decide to get buried, count me out. Hey, well, you didn't have to jump in. And what was I supposed to do? That's your business, Haywood. Hey, oh, you're welcome. Hey, look, man, I couldn't just let that guy blow me off like that. Oh, man, I ain't talking about Lonnie. I'm talking about the rest of the bar. I had cats hitting me like, like it was worth a drink on the house or something. That ice help? Yeah, now it just hurts cold. Ouch. Who we lost? <laughs> Either that or you beat the other guys to death. Yeah, well, he's got promised his permanent singing gig with Lonnie Wilson Express. Yeah? Yeah, and uh, Lonnie decided to change his mind. Reese got upset. Oh, and I got Lonnie upset and uh, like that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. If Lonnie Wilson can play music half as well as he can fight, he's got a great career ahead of him. I should have broke his fingers. Uh, no, uh, Reese, I don't think beating up prospective employers is a way to get work. I suppose you just would have gotten down on your knees and begged, huh? Well, if you're good, you'll get a job with another group, just like that. No, I won't. Not with a group like that, I won't. Well, uh, clean up this place before you go. Come on, home. You'll be all right. I wanted to make it with my voice, man. What the hell am I going to do now, huh? Hi. Kalimera. Beg your pardon? It means good day in Greek. Oh, I didn't know you spoke Greek. I don't, but I intend to. What's this? The teacher's union has come up with a summer charter flight to Greece, and it is a fantastic deal. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You get the whole thing, plus airfare, only six or seven hundred dollars. Only six or seven hundred bucks, huh? That's it. Fantastic. Isn't it? I thought so, too. Yeah. Just think. Clear Mediterranean waters, balmy nights. Souvlaki, moussaka, mm. some Greek pastries. Bazooki music. Plenty of ouzo, huh? Okay. I knew you'd be interested. I'm not. I got season tickets to Dodger Stadium. The tour's only a few weeks. Well, yeah, but if the pennant race heats up, you know. The tour's in June, Ken. June? June what? The 14th to the 30th. Def and miss the U.S. Open? Not in your life. Ken, how is the U.S. Open going to broaden your horizons? I like my horizons narrow. Yeah, right. As in a two-foot path from the couch to the TV to the refrigerator and back. Well, considering the price of gasoline these days. So you won't go with me? All right, then. Uh, Kathy? Mm. I understand you can bring back a couple of bottles duty-free, so, uh... I'd rather feed them to my plants. Were you in a fight, Milton? What? Were you in a fight? No. Well, it sure looks as if you were in a fight. 
A fight is when you give a few and get a few. What I got was a beating. You know, the idea of a crisis center is to help people with a problem, not give them one. What's that supposed to mean? It means that your attitude stinks lately. Just what exactly is your problem, Milton? I ain't got but one. Which is? You and this Mickey Mouse job you pushing on me. Did it ever occur to you you might learn something down there? The only thing I got to learn is what I already know. Don't get caught. Well, you're going to put in some time down at the center, whether it pleases you or not. Yeah, so Miss Buchanan. And if you screw this one up, Milton Reese, you're out on your own. You understand? What do you mean? Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Ron Taylor. You found him? Who are you? Milton Reese. Milton Reese. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are uh, from the famous artist school, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're simple. She was late for a meeting downtown, man. She couldn't make it. Mm. Well, uh, from what I understand, you're going to be working with us from, what, uh, four to six for the next three weeks, huh? Say, wait a minute, man. She ain't said nothing about no three weeks, you know? Aha. Aha, that's just what I like, a, a, a willing volunteer, huh? Well, okay, let's see what we can get you going on, huh? Hey, look, man, if you ain't got nothing for me to do, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna find something for you to do. <laughs> uh, let me give you the grand tour. Uh, can't start you on the phones here because you haven't had the right training. Hey, it ain't no skin off my nose, all right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're funded by the city. Uh, as you can see, we are not top priority. As I can see. Uh, we give advice and uh, support to everyday problems, you know, uh, Bad plumbing, bad heating, advice to the elderly, that sort of thing. Charity work, huh? Volunteer work. We're here because we want to be. Say, look, man, I ain't, you know, so let's just dispense with the sales talk, all right? All right. All right. Uh, since you're such a great painter, come with me. We're going to put your skills to some use, all right? Cool, how much iron you got there? About 400 pounds. It's oh, a light workout. Hey, uh, go easy, will you, Vitalia? I don't want you coming down with a hernia. Don't worry, good. I only got my shots. Say, hey, what? Hey, coach. It was uh, Miss Plunkett's idea of an ID bracelet. No, I'm working on a comeback. Yeah, he's hoping to get both feet off the ground at the same time. <laughs> Uh, more pumping, less talking, cooler. You'll thank me for it next season. That's like a lot of weight, Goldstein. Yeah, well, I've been working out the last couple of weeks, Coach. That's pretty impressive. What are you guys doing here, anyway? Uh, I heard that college women get large upper bodies, you know? Not the ones I've been with. So, Coach, you think Hayward has a chance with those brainy bodies? I think both of these guys do. Both of who? You and Goldstein. Goldstein? Yeah. Austin, I thought you said you didn't get in. Didn't get in? That's not half of it. He got a full scholarship. A scholarship? How come you didn't say something? Because I'm not taking it. Boy, this is gonna be six weeks in the hospital in an instant coma. <laughs> Say, Thorpe, why don't you come down and lift weights with us? Cool, you know that ain't my style. <laughs> hey, uh, it goes, Sting. Let me ask you something, man. Uh, you serious about not taking the scholarship? Yeah, that's right. Why? Because I don't want to go to college. With your personality, Abner, you're gonna need all the degrees you can get. Man, you, you know, that's crazy. I mean, I'm busting my butt. Busting my butt working days and nights so I can go to college. You get a free ride and you want to blow it off. That's crazy. Sorry. You know something, Goldstein? You're stupid, man. You, you, you're real dope. Hey, it's simple, man. Goldstein's not ready to leave his grandparents yet. I mean, he's afraid they might like it. Hey, Thorpe, you just leave my grandparents out of this, OK? They got nothing to do with this, so you just leave them out of it, both of you guys. Grandparents are limited. That's your ticket out of here, huh? Well, I tell you, I wish somebody would give me a full scholarship. See what I would do. It ain't fair, man. This, this ain't fair. Yeah. 
Can I talk to you a minute, Coach? Yeah, sure. Straight? Yeah, pretty straight. Thorpe did it. Not bad, huh? So what's up? It's about the scholarship. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. You think I should take it? Yeah. Goldstein, opportunities like this don't come around every day, you know. I don't think I'm ready for it. Well, you got the scholarship. That seems to say you're ready, right? Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. Academics. I can handle that. I, I don't think I'm ready for it personally. All my life, I've been the guy that gets dumped on. I'm afraid that if I go to college, it's just going to be four more years of the same stuff. That's your problem, Goldstein. What? Being afraid. It just seems like there's something missing. I mean, I'm not like the rest of the guys. Like Thorpe, or Hayward, Reese, Coolidge, even Gomez. You know, they all have something that I can't seem to get a hold of. All you gotta do is be yourself. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I mean, I try to be myself. But it just doesn't seem to work. It just doesn't seem to come out right. So I try to, I try to... I don't know. Goldstein, if you're not ready for college, you're not ready. The trouble is, is that it's really hard to have everybody telling you that you're a fool for not doing what they think you should do. The only person you've got to satisfy is Abner Goldstein. Yeah. Okay. Goldstein. Remember, you've got to dig your heels in sometime. Ron. So, Say, Ron. Yeah, okay, thank you. We're out of coffee. Out of coffee. Yeah, I need it. Yeah, I bet you do. I'll send the kid for some. Okay, thanks. Hey, how's it going? It's going, man. That looks pretty good to me. Listen, we're out of coffee. How about running down and getting something? I'm painting, man. Yeah, well, uh, take a break. The fumes in here are kind of heavy anyway. Hey, send somebody else. Uh, look, I hate to pull rank, but from what Sybil says... And from uh, what I'm saying is you give me a hard time. Oh, that's right. You a wise guy. <laughs> All right, listen to me, man. Uh, hey, look, man, if you want some coffee, why don't you go get it? Because I'm asking you to go. Well, if you're asking me, then my answer's no. Well, then I'm telling you to go. And I'm telling you, man, take your coffee, your paint, and your center and stuff it. Just what exactly has gotten into you? I'm talking to you. You wouldn't understand. Yes, you're right, I wouldn't. Because there is no valid explanation for what you pulled yesterday, none. Look, I got enough problems to worry about without some dumb loser's call-up joint. How old are you, Milton? I asked 18. Do you know that you're considered a legal adult? A responsible member of the community? I do all right. Oh, no, no, you don't. You do lousy. You're going to be graduating out of here in a few months, out on your own, and you're not ready for hey, it. Hey, Miss Buchanan. Four years of high school, and you're right back to ground zero. No regard for personal property or feelings, and no sense of responsibility. What's going to happen to you? Look, my life is falling to pieces. Yeah, I'm going to be gone in a couple of months, and I got nothing going, nothing. Oh, come on, don't feed me that. You're young, you're healthy, and you are bright. You can make what you choose out of your life. Look, I just got blown away from the only job I ever wanted. Uh-huh, so you go ahead and you quit on everything else. It doesn't work that way. You rebound, Milton, and you keep trying. Look, the can of paint cost you 10, I owe you four. You just don't get it, do you? Look, if you're gonna call my old man, then go ahead and do it, because I'm not going back to that place. No, I'm not going to call your father. I'm not going to do anything. If you haven't decided the rights and wrongs by now, well, hey, go, okay? Go, go, go on. Do you know something, Milton? I'm really disappointed in you.
Oh, it looks good. I'm starved. Well, I think I'll have the diet plate. Oh, that looks good. I, on the other hand, I'm getting ready for the banquet circuit, so I think I'll have a little bit of everything. Hi, Joe. I'll have uh, the pasta, the chicken, the spuds, and the succotash and like that. So you still sore at me? Of course not. No? No, I never was. Oh. Just look on the bright side. You spend a couple of quiet, contemplative weeks in Greece. Uh, more potatoes, okay? And uh, when you get back, I'll be here. Terrific. Thanks. Because, uh, frankly, I just couldn't see myself spending a couple of weeks of the summer with a bunch of teachers. You know how it is. You know, that's funny. That's exactly what Jerry said. Jerry? Yeah. Jerry who? Gardner. The English teacher? He's going? Yeah. Yeah. He said there'll be teachers from Crenshaw and Verbum Day on the flight as well. You're going to be in Greece with Gardner, <laughs> the poet? Yeah, he's promised to show me around the ancient ruins. Uh, you gonna fall for that line? Maybe. Maybe? What do you mean, maybe? We're leaving. Hmm? See you Friday, mm. Ron. Oh, thanks for your time. Yeah, Carol? Anytime. <sighs> No, it's a shame we ain't paying you by the hour. You got a nice, slow style there. It's getting done, ain't it? What does Sybil have to threaten you with to get you to come back, huh? She didn't have nothing to do with it. Don't know? No, don't nobody make me do nothing. Is that a fact? Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Boy, well, to be 18 again and dumb. Dumb? You want to talk about dumb, man? Well, you ain't gonna find me answering phones for a living. Is that what you think this is all about? Hmm? A waste of time. Tell me, just how much scratch you pulling down from this? Uh, enough. But I ain't in this for the scratch. Look, I'm going to the corner for a couple of cigars, yeah? Do you want anything? Yeah, get me a couple of chili rellenos and a pitcher of margaritas, will you? You. Uh, what do I do if the phones ring, man? Answer it. Hello. Yeah, this is it. Say, say, lady, I don't know nothing about no garbage pickup. <laughs> yeah, well, the rats, they ain't packing up even if the garbage goes. Hey, lady, lady, look, I don't know nothing about it, all right? Call back in a couple minutes. The guy you want to talk to will be back by then. Yeah. Yes, lady. All right. Oh, hey, lady. Uh, sister stuff is piling up anyway. You know, it's been worth my while more than once to, uh, sift through it all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I... like I'm next. Yeah. I mean, if you're ever gonna back out, now's the time, huh? So, uh, how many push-ups you good for? You smoke, pal? No. Start. Well, thanks, but, uh, my grandmother would kill me. You, your grandmother? So, we weighed the pluses and the minuses, and this is what it adds up to. The Marines. Because we're looking for a few good men. Sure you don't want a butt? Next! Hey, maybe one. Yeah, sure, help yourself.
I'm Sergeant Berrigan. Goldstein. Abner. Hey, look, man, don't nobody here want to buy no land in Arizona. Yeah, 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 what's your problem, huh? Hey. What? Hold, oh, hey, 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 come on, baby, what you talking about? Hold it, hold on now, I got a man here. What? Milk? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's yours? Hold, hold it, tell me your name. She says she's gonna kill herself. I see you graduate in June. The 15th. That'll put you in line for the DEP program. The DEP? Delayed Entry Program. Wait a minute. I want to be a Marine as soon as possible. You want to graduate from high school first, don't you? Well, yeah, but I don't want to lose my place or anything. Well, there's plenty of room to go around, and you've passed your screening test. All that's left now is the VAT, Vocational Aptitude Test. We'll set your physical for you in about a week. And then boot camp? That's right. Right, with, with the sweat and the toil and the long, cold, lonely nights on patrol. And a warm cup of coffee to warm you up at 3 in the morning. Will it be like that? Something like that. Well, then I'm your man. Good. Yeah? Yeah. After you come out of boot camp, you'll come out with a rank of private. You'll make $448.76 a month. And then it's to the sea. You like the ocean? It scares the hell out of me. Crisis Center. Hello. Ron Taylor here. Who's this? Yeah, yes, he's here. Uh, but he's busy right now. Perhaps I could... Okay. Okay. Okay, no. Uh, I'll get him. You hold on. Hold on. Try to get a name. Take it. I'll get a trace. Hello? Yeah, yeah, this is me. Yeah. Who is this? <sighs> hey, come on. Why you want to do something Hello? like that, huh? No, no, that is not the way to deal with something. Yeah. No, it ain't, baby. It's possible suicide. I don't know. Hey, I go to high school, too. Uh-huh, Carver. How about you? Got a trace going. Try and keep her talking. Listen, uh, maybe we could, uh... Okay. Oh. No, come on, don't cry. Look, why do you want to... Why do you want to do something like that, huh? I know that. I know that, too. I feel the same way. <laughs> when things ain't going right. Oh, sure, I do, yeah. I can tell you how you feel it. Yeah, I can tell you. You want to know? It's when you ain't got no clue of where you're going next. Yeah. When you, you ain't got no hope, you ain't got nothing, you got nothing, right? And you just keep thinking about it, and you think about it, and you think about it, and pretty soon that's all you're thinking about. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. No, no, it changes, it does change. It does. And when it does, hey, 
you're just as happy as when you were sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. I do. Yes, I do. I care about you. Where are you? Come on, tell me where you are. I can come see you. No, it does work out. Come on, I promise you, it'll work. It'll all be okay. No, wait a minute. Come on now. Wait a minute, baby, please. she called back? I don't know. Yeah, well, you're supposed to know, man. That's what you get paid for. Hey. I'm sorry. Mm, forget it. Forget it. Hey, you, you did a real good job with her on the phone, though. Damn. No, you really did. Shook me up pretty good, man. Talking to somebody that's, that's, that's talking like that, you know? I mean, she didn't even say nothing specific, man. She didn't give no reason. She, she just wanted to die. A lot of unhappy people out there. And you start thinking you got problems, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm bearable. Run across something like that. Kind of puts things in perspective, huh? So, uh, what made you get in this kind of work? Uh, nothing specific. No, no? No, nothing I could point my finger at, no. So you just, uh, walked in here one day and said, uh, I want to help you. I worked for about 10 years at the community center over on Central. I used to watch the kids come in there all strung out, unhappy. See the washouts, sleeping in the outer office, trying to stay out of the rain, you know? I wanted to help. Did you ever get anything in return, man? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Every day. I mean, even on a night like tonight? Didn't you? So, uh, did she do it or not? I don't know. They put a trace on the call, you know, but she hung up too quick. But then there was five hours of silence, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I had a next door neighbor try to do herself in once. Try leaping to her death. Oh, yeah? What happened? Nothing. She has a basement apartment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if I was looking to check out, there'd be no question about it. I'd have to go sexual exhaustion. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, live and let die. Oh, man. <laughs> Coolidge, hey, what's that supposed to mean, man? Hey, man, somebody's looking to call a quiz. Let them. <laughs> that's sick. You know, that's really sick. I ain't the one looking to kill himself. Hey, look, just grow up, man. Hey, Reese, come on, man. Lighten up. You got enough problems of your own to worry about. Here he is. Milk! Hey, Charlene, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, she wants to talk to you. Thanks. See you later. Are you Milton Reese from the crisis center last night on the phone? Yeah, yeah, right. Hi, I'm Stephanie Beck. You're talking to my sister Elizabeth. Oh. Well, is she, uh... I mean, did she, uh... Oh, no. No, she's, she's OK. She's home and she's OK. Listen, I don't know what you said to her last night, but whatever it was, it certainly did help. You know, my sister, she's a, she's a very confused girl right now with a lot of problems that she wants to try and work out. 
But she sounded like a really nice person. Yeah, that's what she said about you. I just wanted to say thanks. We really, we all want you to know that Hear about Gardner? No. Yeah, lucky guy. I just talked to him. Apparently, he got accepted to one of those graduate schools for unpublished poets. So I guess he's going to have to pass on Greece. Oh. Which leaves a seat to be filled, so. So what? So. I may go. Yeah? Um, Milton Reese is here to see you. All right, send him in. You've come in here to ruin my morning. Please. No, Mr. Buchanan. I need some advice. Yeah, well, explosives are not in my realm of expertise. No, this is on the level. All right. Um,. Well, you know I've been kind of uptight about what I'm going to be doing after graduation. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of banking on that singing gig. Uh, well, I've been thinking of going that route the last couple of years. Well, it fell through, you know. That's okay. Because uh, for now, at least the next year, I want to spend some time in the community. Oh? Doing what? Helping. Um, I was hoping you could point me in a couple of directions. Okay. I'd be glad to. Have you uh, thought about the crisis center? Yeah, I did. Uh, but I kind of like to work, you know, more face to face. Mm hmm. Have you ever heard of VISTA? Yeah, I think I heard of it somewhere. It stands for Volunteers in Service to America. It's people within the community working for the community. Like this one? Mm hmm. Or anyone that needs it. And God knows this one needs it. VISTA, huh? Mm-hmm. There is an office down on 23rd Street. You might walk down there after school today. Yeah. Maybe I will. Thanks. All right, burn it in there, baby. Put a little spit on the ball. Let's have some action on that. Don't give him anything he can hit. Don't be intimidated by this big guy. Hey, Coach, are you sure you don't want to catch... Uh, for your information, Eddie, I could have gone to baseball route just as easily. Yeah, well, rumor has it that the wheels have gone. Pitch. Pitch. I got it! I got it! I got it! Yeah, yeah, I know. Got lost in the lights, right? Come on, let's get out of here. I'd rather play in the rain. Hey, wait a minute! Hey, hey, uh, coach, uh, you're out of your element. Stick to round ball. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ever get your film? Uh, we got a money game going. Oh, yeah? Against who? Us, except nobody can handle cool. Yeah, well, considering that he's 6'8". Yeah, and, uh, you're 6'6", so we kind of thought that, uh... You gotta be kidding. That's not what Cool's been saying. Oh, no? Me against you in the pivot? For 10 bucks. Mm. Coolidge. 20? Mm -mm. I don't know, Coach. You know, I'm working for Peanuts next year. I might have to go with Coolidge. Oh, is that right, Reese? Yeah, that doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Uh, Coolidge, are you forgetting that I taught you everything you know? 30. You're on. <laughs> Hey, man, who's that? I don't know. Mr. Money Game? Goldstein? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Pipes on his head. <laughs> Goldstein, man, what the hell happened to you? What'd you do, start hanging out at the airport for loose change? Join the Marines. Do your grandparents know about this? Does Washington know about this? 
Come June 15th, I start serving my country. Well, so, so why'd they make you cut your hair? No, no, I did it myself. Kind of get in the swing of things. You sure about this, Colstein? I'm sure. Good. Let's go. <coughs> All right, well, uh, uh, we'll take Goldstein. Right. Goldstein, you be on our team. Look here, Goldstein and me and uh, Go Go and the coach. All right, let's go. Game's to 21. 10 bucks a man. It's 30 between you two. Uh, I've been lifting weights for you. Oh, really? Uh, so did Ernie Bass. Who's Ernie Bass? He never made it. Get it? So where are they going to station you, Goldstein? Put in for sea duty. The first choice is Greece. Greece? basketball coach real bad. We don't call it basketball here. We call it round ball. <laughs> What's your name? My name was then and still is Kevin Hooks. I played Morris Thorpe. Thomas Carter and I played uh, James Hayward. Tim Van Patten. I played Salami. Byron Stewart. I played Warren Coolidge. Ken Michaelman. I played Abner Goldstein. Nathan Cook passed away. He played Reese. Eric Kilpatrick. Curtis Jackson. Ira Angerstein. Ricky Go Go Gomez. It's like we got ourselves a new coach. <laughs> That's right. I'm Ken Howard, and I play coach Ken Reeves on uh, The White Shadow. I'm going to be leaning on you guys, and I'll be behind you every step of the way. All right. Yeah. 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 Like a white shadow. Damn it! What do you want to do? Hit me? Maybe you're going to shoot me if I don't do what you say. Hey, Coach, I'm not the enemy, remember? You're the man, ain't you? Come you. Don't be grabbing me, man. You... Next time you go right through that locker. There were not a lot of shows with African-American actors at the time, and the ones that were around were a lot of silly sitcoms. Whoa! Woo! We were lighthearted, but we were serious in the effect that we had on people. How'd you hit the ball that far? It's easy. It's white. It was not an easy show to write because there were no conventions. You really had to come up with something real. I tried to be like you guys, to be one of you, but you wouldn't let me. I'm not quitting this team either. This team means too much to me, but I'm not changing myself one inch. Bruce's goal was to tap into issues that hadn't been dealt with, certainly on primetime television, that a young audience was going to be watching. You think you're homosexual? Every episode had a message. He's dead, no rhyme, no reason. Even the Hero episode had a message about crime doesn't pay. Yesterday, I'm king of the world. Everybody wants a piece of me. And now nobody likes you. So you lie to people, you steal cars, so what's the like? Oh, thank you, a big help. The end all of every episode is that there is hope that, you know, these kids will learn maybe one thing after this show. You and Coolidge have been friends for a long time. Now, it's been shaken up a little bit, but it hasn't been broken, so don't let it happen. The environment there was like a boys' club. It was really loud, and it was really fun. Put them in! <laughs> How many people get to actually go through a car wash and get completely drenched by the Harlem Globetrotters in their life? I mean, if you're lucky, you may get a bucket of water in your face at a game, if you're lucky. The shower sequences, we, we had these flesh-colored briefs on. Now, it was always cold water. And so we'd get in there, and we'd, we we have, usually have these singing scenes. And then, of course, you know, horseplay starts in the shower, guys whipping you with the tail. It was just like high school. I remember very little, if any, friction. I mean, that was always just fun. 
There's a lot of things that the show did that hit home with a lot of people. The show had a bit of cachet and was certainly the first network program to really kind of accurately portray a sport. You're all probably starting to feel the pressure. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you, man! Get off of me! Hey, whoa, hey, hey man, this is what do you think you're doing? Don't put it on like you backstab me! Have fun out there. Because this is what it's all about. I mean, this is as good as it gets. But I think basketball in the show is not so much how well do you play the game, but how well are you preparing for the game of life.